Hey Isolation Fano, hey for dinner tonight we're doing rustic beef tart. So these are the finished product here. So it's basically a puff pastry with a uh, spiced mince filling and on top of that we've got the ingredients of a Greek salad. So we've got some spinach, we've got some feta, we've got olives and we've got cucumber. Um, really tasty, really fresh, really yummy meal, really easy to make. So here I've got my ingredients ready to do the mince. In here I've got three cloves of garlic, eight sprigs of parsley, just the leaves, eight sprigs of fresh mint, again just the leaves. I've got a carrot which has been sliced roughly, 40 grams of red onion, 100 grams of capsicum, tomato paste, curry powder, 500 grams of mince and my chicken stock paste. Right, let's get started. I've got my recipe on the screen. Let's start cooking. So first in goes my garlic cloves. My sprigs of uh, mint, again just the leaves. Fresh parsley, eight sprigs again, just the leaves. My carrot cut into pieces. My capsicum, and 40 grams of red onion. And we're going to chop it up. So you'll see what's in here now, it's just a finely chopped collection of all our ingredients. And the smell is absolutely amazing, I love fresh mint. So I'm just scraping down the bowl. Man, this smells so good guys, you should have smell of vision So now our bowl's scraped down, we'll go to the next step. We're going to grab 20 grams of oil. So I'm just resetting my scales here, my Thermomix, and we're going to weigh in 20 grams. And next, one tablespoon of curry powder. Now what we're going to do is fry all that up together. Oh, that smells absolutely amazing. So next of all, we're going to add in our 500 grams of mince. We're going to add in one tablespoon of our chicken stock. Now this chicken stock here is one of the um, standard recipes you get with Cook I Do, which is where I'm getting this recipe from that I'm making now. There are 
different types of stock you can make. There's um, a vegetable stock, a chicken stock, a mushroom stock and a meat stock. This is the chicken one. It's all made of natural ingredients and the preservative is actually salt. It keeps in your fridge for three to four months um, and it makes everything taste so good. And that's on top of the fact that you actually know everything that's going into it. There's no preservatives or anything like that happening in it. So here we go, one tablespoon of our chicken stock. And two tablespoons of tomato paste. Bit generous with the tomato paste. And two. And 40 grams of water. Just recalibrating our scales here. Back to zero. And now we can pour. And some freshly ground pepper. Because the stock paste uses salt as its preservative, it means you don't have to add extra salt into your dishes you put the stock paste into. Put our lid on. And this is going to cook for 10 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius at a stir. Okay, let's see what it's like. Oh, guys, that smells so good. It smells minty and parsley with a curry sort of flavour. Um, and it's, it's this really beautiful mint smell as well. So what we're going to do now is transfer our cooked mints into a bowl to keep warm. Got out some sheets of flaky puff pastry. And what I'm going to do, as per the instructions, is preheat the oven to 220 degrees. What I'm going to do now is cut each sheet of pastry in half. And this is going to form the base of our tart. So now what I'm going to do is score the pastry about one centimetre in from all four sides of each piece. So here we go. Right, so now we've got our bases that are fully scored and I punched the base part with fork pricks. So here we go, we're going to bake this for three or four minutes at 220 degrees. Okay, so after three or four minutes of cooking, our pastry bases are semi-cooked. So they've just started to cook. Now what we're going to do is divide our mix mixture across all four. And now we're going to spread over 40 grams of sliced red onion and 40 grams of pine nuts. Finally, before it goes in the oven, we're going to put over a lightly beaten egg. Use as an egg wash just around the edges. Our egg wash is on, so now what we're going to do is put this back in the oven for about 10 minutes at 220 degrees. So here we go, our tarts are almost done. So what I'm going to serve this up with, I've got some spinach leaves, cucumber, some feta, and some olives. So they're just going to be laid on top and just eaten like that. Enjoy guys, and thanks for watching.